pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The action has already started. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Paris Saint Germain have made a major appointment here. What's your take on it? Look, he, he has a great reputation for bringing out the best in players with the emphasis always on the team. As they say, it's going to be his way or the highway. Too much on it, and out of play. Lavernia. Paris Saint-Germain satisfied for now, a nil-nil. Out towards the flank. Cut out in the nick of time. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. He's got away. Lavernia! really is so, so impressive. Paris Saint-Germain took the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Here it is over the line. Goyos. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Now it's Memphis to Pi. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. That's a good ball to find him. Can he find a finish now? Roca did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Goyos. He's got away. Oh, and Goyos! It's there! A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish.
Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did pull that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Paris Saint-Germain trying to have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Final action of the first half. First half thoughts. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they come here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Paris Saint Germain go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. So we're already into the second period. Only reported change to either side during the break. Driving on a real charge here. Petic gets him to thwart him. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it now. Fence has got rid of that. Now it's Memphis to Pie. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Goyos. Cuts it out. <laughs> For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Lucas Paqueta. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Goyos. Lavernia. Tries a shot! Yes! And they are cruising away. A oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. They get two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. <laughs> Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Lavernia, and he's away. Goyos. Has a goal! No mistake! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very soon. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant set-up and finish. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly. And they don't know how to stop him. Paris Saint-Germain totally rampant here. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Soric gets it back. Uh, ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Lucas Paqueta. Roca, Goyos, managed to get it away.
forward it goes. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Paris Saint-Germain, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Which is summarise what we've seen today, don't you? Paris Saint-Germain will be thrilled by this, even though they would have been a tad fearful of their, their lesser strength. But they've sprung a huge surprise. So many thanks to Jim Beglin, that's all we have time for. Good evening to you.